One of the debates we've seen over the course of the history of our country is the debate over the proper size of government. What you'll find is, is people are more likely to call for big government in times of crisis. One perfect example, after the attacks of September 11th, 2001, President Bush and Congress substantially increased the federal authority and governmental spending. You also see people support big government during times of the recession. That uh, we saw with the recession that started in September 2008, that uh, we saw bank bailouts, we saw relief given to auto manufacturers, we saw an emergency stimulus bill. Those are the types of things where big government became involved to help deal with the, the recession. But also keep in mind that you know, there was a continuous debate over whether they were, were proper steps for government to take. And of course, big government has its, has its limits that we saw through the Tea Party, the rise of the Tea Party a few years ago, uh, 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 limits to government, but we may see that reversing its course as we head further into 2013. Now let's take a look at the uh, political ideologies. You've likely heard talk about liber liberalism and conservatism, and perhaps even uh, socialism, libertarianism. In the next several slides, we're going to define each of those ideologies and where they fit on our spectrum. But first, let's define what a political ideology is. It's a closely linked set of beliefs about politics with specific guiding values at its core. So let's start with the two most common ideologies discussed in, discussed in American politics, conservatism and liberalism. Conservatives are most closely associated with the Republican Party. Those who favor conservatism place a high value on order, patriotism, and traditional values. They place a lower value on equality, believing that individuals and families are responsible for their own well-being. As a result, conservatives will typically oppose high levels of anti-poverty spending. And in general, conservatives will, would oppose same-sex marriage, oppose initiatives that would increase the role of government in the economy, such as the stimulus program and President Obama's health care reform. Conservatives support gun rights and support tax cuts to stimulate the economy. Liberals, on the other hand, most closely associated with the Democratic Party. Like conservatives, they place a high value on liberty, but they tend to view it as a freedom to live one's life according to one's own values. So you're going to see liberals, on the other hand, they're going to support gay rights. They're going to support gun control measures. They're going to support government intervention in the economy. Socialism, if we look at, at our political beliefs on a continuum from left to right, socialism would be on the far left side. And that's an ideology that is based on strong support for economic and social equality. And traditionally, socialists envision a society in which major businesses would be taken over by government or by employee cooperatives. Libertarianism, that would be on the far right-hand side of our political spectrum. And that's really a, a, an ide ideology that is based on skepticism or outright opposition toward most government activities. They support property rights, and they're going to oppose regulation of the economy and redistribution of income. So here's a look at the tr traditional spectrum in a couple of areas. How much power should the government have over the economy? Socialist, active government control. Liberals, positive government action. Conservatives, with positive action to support capitalism. Libertarianism, almost no regulation of the economy. What should the government promote? Socialist, economic equality, and community. Liberals, economic security, equal opportunity, social liberty. Conservatives, economic liberty, morality, and social order, 
a libertarianism, total economic and social liberty. But what we find is, is that's really perhaps not the best way that we're going to look at, uh, at our political ideologies, that, that, you know, that the complexity of, complexities of today's ideologies they indicate that the traditional left to right spectrum isn't really an accurate reflection about the nation's wide range of beliefs on the government's role in economic and social issues. Political scientists instead believe that a better way to analyze political beliefs is to break them down into four possible categories or ideologies. You're going to have cultural and economic liberals. And you have cultural and economic conservatives, cultural liber liberals, economic conservatives, and cultural conservatives and economic liberals. So instead of going through the spectrum as you're either liberal, conservative, or libertarian or socialist on the far left, okay. that you really can be a mix. You can be liberal on some issues. You can be conservative on the others or some, some other issues. Here are a couple of points to keep in mind about the, the grid that you're seeing right now. There's really no generally accepted label for the economic, liberal, cultural, conservative group. Some suggest the term populist. But that's somewhat misleading because the populist has a, a reference of some sort to, to opposition to the political, economic, and cultural elites. Uh, another point to keep in mind, libertarians believe in the most complete freedom possible in both economic and social matters and often support the Republican Party, not just the Libertarian Party. And finally, when you think of liberals, some people think some people who are liberals don't like that term. That, that there's a general there's a general sense that uh, that that that's a negative term. You may hear liberals. Some people embrace the term. People who don't embrace it as much, they simply prefer to call themselves progressive. So that's the end of the chapter one lecture. Make sure to remember to check the week one folder and course documents for the rest of the assignments in this chapter.